You've been lied to. I've been lied to and believed it for years. We were told that saturated fat and red meat are bad for us, but it was a scam. The American Heart Association says this. The American Heart Association recommends limiting saturated fats, which are found in butter, cheese, red meat, and other animal-based foods, and tropical oils. Decades of sound science has proven it can raise your bad cholesterol and put you at higher risk for heart disease. This is criminal. This is from the American Heart Association, and they even say this has been proving. Science has proven this is what they said. First of all, it's a hypothesis, not proven. A hypothesis, here's the definition for a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a proposed explanation made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. That is far from proven. But here's the reality. Look at this diagram. This shows the risk ratio for heart attacks. High total cholesterol and high LDL, the bad cholesterol, are so low they are listed as NA or not applicable. They are a 1.0 on this scale. High blood pressure is nearly twice the risk and high insulin, which is the real problem, is way up at 6.7 on this scale. You are at more than six times the risk of a heart attack from eating sugar than you are from having high LDL or bad cholesterol. Think about that. Our perceptions about food are out of whack. If someone posts a picture of a dozen donuts, no one will bat an eye. But if someone posts a picture of a plate of meat, the first thing you hear is either, where's the veggies? or that's a heart attack waiting to happen. If you tell someone that you eat a standard American diet that is high in carbs and sugar, no one gets upset. But if you tell someone you only eat meat and mostly red meat, they'll tell you how bad it is for you and that you're going to die from doing that. But the reality is far from the narrative that has been fed to us. People are actually getting healthier by eating a diet that is high in saturated fat. We're talking about high in animal fat, right? So, you know, whether it's butter or it's just the, the, the fat in the meat, you know, the red meat in particular, that's what we're talking about here with saturated fat, right? I'm not talking about like coconut oil or something like that. We're talking about the saturated fat from meat. A carnivore diet or a low carb diet like keto, many of these people see their LDL or their so called bad cholesterol go up considerably when doing this type of a diet, but they are healthier. Their HDL goes up. Their triglycerides go down. They lose body fat. They heal issues related to inflammation and many autoimmune diseases. They often lower or reverse type 2 diabetes and improve their A1C. And I have never seen someone doing the carnivore diet that has seen an increase in their calcium buildup on a CAC scan. That's a coronary artery calcium scan or coronary artery calcium test. And that actually measures the um, amount of calcium buildup in your arteries, which, you know, is most likely going to contribute to um, plaque buildup and so forth that can cause heart disease and heart attacks. So in fact, you know, most people that have a score that's higher than the zero in the CAC scan and are doing carnivore, they actually see that score lower after a year or so of doing carnivore. It doesn't go up. That's a true indicator of whether or not that type of diet and saturated fat is causing heart disease. And it's not. I'm not afraid of eating meat and saturated fat. It's part of the optimum diet for humans, and it's been that way since humans have existed. What I am afraid of is highly processed foods that are loaded with sugar, fructose, and so forth. Processed foods and seed oils are destroying our health. These are made up foods. These are not whole foods that have been available for thousands and thousands of years. They've been created by us humans. They are not real food. 
These foods coincide with the onslaught of obesity, autoimmune diseases, heart disease, cancer, and so on. Humans were eating meat long before the onslaught of these issues. So you tell me, what types of foods are bad for humans? Is saturated fat really the problem? Or is it the sugary processed foods? And I got to tell you, they're pushing you to eat those processed foods. They're saying that there's nothing wrong with them, that they're good for you and so forth. You know, look at, they will show you um, different cereals that they have listed as heart healthy and so forth. Look at the ingredients list on those cereals and you tell me if they're actually healthy for us and we should be eating them. I don't think so. 